What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today we're going to be going over Shopify homepage title examples. We're also going to go over to what to include in your homepage title, as well as some really good examples here to give a good idea of what yours should be. So make sure you stay to the end of the video here that we have seven really good examples to go over. If you're enjoying any of the content along the way, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below because that really helps the channel out. Also, before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below. Now we show a quick video detailing the full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. All right, so let's dive into your Shopify homepage title. There are three overall tips you want to keep in mind when creating your title tag. The first one is that it describes your site. So you want to make sure you're thinking about which keywords you're using and including those in your website. So if you sell fashion products, you want to include fashion. If you sell watches, you'll probably want to include watches. And you also want to use your brand name. So a typical format is brand name. Are there some kind of marker? Maybe it's a dash or a line. And then it's going to be your other keywords such as watches, fashion, apparel. And so you'll see this as we go through some examples here. So overall, since you only get 70 characters to describe your title here, you're going to have to think very carefully on what you want to include. And so if you're also not sure how to edit it on your Shopify homepage, you just want to go into the online store section on the left, hit preferences. And in the preferences, you could edit your homepage title here. And as you can see, you have a 70 character limit. So let's dive into the first example here, and that's going to be Gymshark. And so we can see their homepage title tag is going to be Gymshark official store. Now they probably included official store there as they have quite a few knockoff competitors. So I want to show you that this is the official location to get Gymshark apparel. You know that it's going to be authentic here. So it's Gymshark official store. They have a line delineating the two separate pieces of content. We can see it's gym clothes and workout wear, and that's exactly what they sell. So they're describing it very clearly. They're not using any fancy keywords here. They're just being very direct in what they sell. Next is going to be Fashion Nova. So again, we see Fashion Nova. They use a line here, and you can see Fashion Online for Women. Then it's going to extend to affordable dot dot dot. So we can see they've repeated the fashion word here as that's exclusively what they sell, or the main product they sell is Fashion Online for Women. So they want to show that there in their homepage title tag. The next one we'll look at is Taylor's Stitch. So they sell men's clothing here. We can see they actually chose to go classic men's clothing first, followed by Taylor Stitch, and then followed by Taylor Stitch again. I believe the second part is probably due to whatever they use to set this up. I'm not entirely sure why they included that twice here. They might have an SEO app, which adds Taylor Stitch to the end of each title tag in their store. Next, we'll take a look at Rip and Dip clothing. So again, they chose to include official in their title tag. So we can see official Rip and Dip dash we can see apparel accessories skate and lord normal we can see they chose to choose keywords that directly describe what they sell apparel accessories and skate products i'm not entirely sure what lord normal is but i'm sure it is relevant here next we'll take a look at mavi clothing so it's mavi jeans premium denim and apparel this is going to be the mavi canada version but as we can see we can see their name they don't use any separations apart from a space we can see premium denim and apparel, which is the keyword that they're targeting there. Next, let's take a look at Ridge Wallet. This is going to be the last example we look at. 